hello there listen we are in the building for the day party yes chosen chick south thursday night live the day party 4 p.m eastern time coming live for my ladies and it will be shared worldwide in just a few days come on in the room come on in come on in i am just beyond grateful thankful and excited about what god is doing i am grateful to you who will be here with me live for those who will catch the replay right here in the group be sure to drop the comment hashtag replay so that i can acknowledge you and engage with you those who will catch numerous replays on youtube um you can keep tea right in your pocket you can keep the heel girl you can keep this powerful word of god right in your pocket on the heel girls youtube channel and uh, most of you have that information but of course i will share it again uh when i do my replay let me in the way of let me get a little protocol out of the way and then i'll jump into introduction and then i will go right into the word so um, I definitely want you to know we are about the things of God, right? So if you are curious about something, ask a question. There's no such thing as an off-base question and a relevant question. I will address your question as best as I can. If there's some information that I need to go get, I will do that. This is the place. So drop it in the comments. Feel free to email me with those questions. Also, you can email me if you have um, confidential and or lengthy prayer requests. I take prayers right here live that folks uh, drop in and um, it's about being a whole spiritual person, right? Prayer, praise, and worship. And so that's what we're going to be talking about tonight anyway. So if you desire prayer and you don't wish to share it, um, definitely email me at thehealedgirl at gmail.com. Again, that information, that email is good for you. For prayer requests, for questions that you want to ask offline, as well as if you would like a copy of tonight's lesson notes. Okay, notes come with commentary, of course. So again, that email is thehillgirl at gmail.com. Let me do one thing. Let me invite just a few people. I know folks are commuting, folks are working, folks are doing all of the things. Y'all, I'm just inviting the people that come up because some of the people that I'm looking at, I know for a fact they are like still at work and possibly maybe just logging off. Yes, y'all, let me know if the comments are working. I'm just going to drop one, which again, that doesn't always mean it because I feel like I've commented before and the comments still were off. But anyway, again, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Chosen Chick Discussion Group. This is a sacred space. This is a warm and welcoming place. Hello, Chanel. Bless you, sis. So good to see you. Thank you uh, for being here. And thank you for letting me know that the comments are on. So, so good to see you. Um, as I was saying, Chosen Chick Discussion Group is a place where real women discuss real issues and what the Word of God says about our life. It is all about glorifying God in all that we do. So this is the place where you can ask your questions. This is the place where you can request prayer. This is a place of empowerment. This is a place of love and laughs. This is a place of uplifting. So it is my pleasure. I am Artisha T. Bolding. I am the founder of chosen chick discussion group god placed it on my heart just about two years ago now and i'm so excited i am an ordained minister and certified life coach and i love that if we were doing a venn diagram like those circles that overlay each other right i love that the work that i get to do every day with the best people on the planet it really is ministry. I get to see people go to the next level. I motivate women and entrepreneurs to birth their business book or brand. I ensure that you are no longer stuck in life, but thriving in success that's aligned with your passion and purpose. What I say when I want to sum up what I do, I build legacies of health, wealth, and wisdom. And I love that. It's all to the glory of God. So let me, I don't want to um, belabor us our grace period has passed and like i said i know folks are trying to get home trying to get dinner on the table trying to do all of the things so as you all can join please do please do so let me say mm -mm -mm, i am going
going to let me do a quick recap and then I'm just going to jump right into everything. So last week we talked about stand by me because what we have to know as believers, there are promises that are especially for us. We are never alone. We never walk into any situation or circumstance by ourselves. The true and living God is with us. The power of the Holy Spirit is within us. So we are never ever alone. So we talked about stand by me on last week. My sis Jess is in the building. Hey Jess, thank you for being here. Just doing the recap sis. We talked about stand by me last week. You were there. It was a blessing because God is always, always with us. It just reminds me of that old poem. And I know, I know it's not just my family. Okay. Y'all check in. My aunt, my grandma, my mom, everybody in my family at one point had a poster with the poem Footprints on it. And it was where the writer said, God, it looked like in my most struggling times, I saw one set of footprints in the stand instead of two. So God, you mean to tell me you left me during the worst times? And God said, no, I didn't leave you. I carried you. Those footprints that you saw were my honey. When I was thinking about that, it just touched me all over again. Sometimes God is not just with us. He's carrying us through those things. So that was last week. We talked about stand by me. And this week, oh my God, first of all, God has taken us back to the basics. The whole first half of the year, it's been amazing. He's been teaching us again, reminding us the things that we should include in our prayers, the things we should include in our praise, how to treat one another as believers, how to treat non-believers and new believers. So it's just been amazing. And then lately in this uh, last few weeks in this season, God has really been walking us through the Psalms. So we have seen how David and the other psalmists have worshiped God, have cried out to God. And it's been wonderful. I'm talking about phenomenal. What I love about the word, it may be an ancient text, but it is right, real and relevant for us today. Okay. Over 2000 years later, God is awesome. So tonight we are going to be talking about David's recipe my God, King David is a man after God's own heart. And he had a recipe that if you and I follow, listen, we can't go wrong. We can't go wrong. So before I get any, go any further, I'm going to go ahead and pray. And then we're going to jump into the lesson and to all the little commentary that I have. <laughs> Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, God, thank you, God. We acknowledge you, we love you, we honor you, and we adore you, God. We just want to show our gratitude right now in the name of Jesus, God. We bless your holy name. Thank you, God, that you are here present with us in this moment. Your word says where two or three are gathered in your name, you will be in the midst, God. So thank you for being in the midst. Thank you for being right here, never never leaving us alone, God. Lord, right now, we also repent for anything we said, did, or thought that was not pleasing in your sight, God. And in the same breath, thank you. Thank you, God, because we know you've already wiped the slate clean. You've already forgiven us, God. You don't see us for our shortcomings, God, but you see us through the blood, the finished work of the cross, God. So thank you. Thank you for covering us, Lord God, when we didn't even know what it was. What is a Savior? What, what are we even doing? God, you step right in. You prepared the way ahead of time. Your grand design, God. So thank you. Thank you, God, that you've given each one of us purpose and promise, God. And you've given us the ability to walk it out. You've given us supernatural insight and revelation, Lord God, to become all that you have called us to be. God, thank you for making each of us a gift in the earth, Lord God. I give honor. And I appreciate each and every one of my sisters that will catch us live right here. God, those who will catch the replay and all of our sisters and brothers all over the world who will see this on YouTube and other platforms. God, I thank you and I praise you, God, that this word that you speak, God, because it's not about me. The word that you speak on tonight, God, will be a blessing to individuals, families, communities all over the world. God, hide us behind your cross right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Give us revelation, knowledge, and understanding. Hide your word in our heart, God, that we may not sin against it, God. And we thank you in Jesus' holy and precious name. 
Hallelujah and amen. Yes, indeed. Look, y'all know when I stopped praying, it was almost a whole thing. I had to pull it back. Please excuse me. Oh, I got people joining from all over. But let me tell you what's happening in where the red clay is. Okay, the dirty, dirty south. It's hot. It's hot down here. <laughs> it's hot down here. And um, I'm trying to let some fresh air in and everything because uh, the air conditioning system makes too much noise. So y'all have to bear with me. So y'all know I'm always keep the water rocking. I'm going to keep the cough drops. I was going to say throat drops. <laughs> keep the cough drops going so i appreciate y'all but we family right we family i love y'all appreciate y'all listen david's recipe honey let me tell you something if we don't know we know david has some issues with a capital i hello somebody but let me tell you something king david the shepherd boy david hello he loved the lord and guess what god loved him right back god met him where he was and David never I'm talking about when his wife I'm talking about when others said you know what what's your deal you know why are you praising what you know that doesn't even make sense that's not comely of a king David said what David said this is what I know okay prayer praise and worship okay that's the recipe right there I just threw it on at you prayer praise and worship that's the recipe so let me do this let me do this let me do this let me go back let me go to our song. Y'all know I shared just a few lines of a song that has particularly moved me for the week or for the season. And so this, I'm going to try to contain myself because this song right here, like, takes me in every time. I told, <laughs> fun fact, I literally text my pastor. I, I didn't call him. I texted my past, I was just like, uh, so I almost got arrested today because I clearly almost lost it on a walking path, <laughs> walking path today. Just look, I was down the river walk, almost lost it, honey. Like I almost had full blown church all outside, all by myself. And it was about to be a whole, <laughs> it was about to be a whole thing. I had to literally pull it back in. Um, what hell meant for evil, my God. God turned it around for my good. The devil thought he had me. Thought that my life was over. He thought by now I'd give up. He thought I had no more. But that's when someone greater, oh my God, stepped in my situation. Now, now my morning has now begun. He turned it. I'm going to have to stop right there. I'm going to have to stop right there because that takes me to a whole... That's what got me in trouble today. I said, oh my God, let me get down here from these people that don't know what this is. <laughs> yes, he turned it. He turned it. And if you have ever been in a situation where your back was against the wall, where you just felt like you were stuck, if you have ever had a health crisis, if you have ever had a financial crisis... Not something that you could call and bail yourself out. Something that somebody you could call and borrow something from and ask somebody to help you out. But when God supernaturally steps in and turns that thing around, honey, it is no joke. And it's real, okay? Ask me how I know God is real. Because he showed up in my life, okay? He showed up in my marriage. He showed up in my hospital room, okay, when I need him. Multiples of times, not just one time, Okay? He turned it. Just don't play with me. I'm trying not to even look at your comments because it's going to be a whole other thing. I'm going to just be laid out here in this kitchen floor and that's not going to help anybody. <laughs> you talking about throwing your phone? It's about to be a whole thing already. It's about to be a whole thing. But God is good. He turned it. He turned it. So we are going to be back in Psalms tonight. Awesome God. Awesome God. So those that know, know that I favor the New Living Translation, a dynamic translation of God that you really feel the spirit of the text and so I'm going to be mostly new living tonight but I'm going to start us off with the amplified version which has um, built in kind of definitions and explorations in the text so I enjoy that as well but we just have a couple of verses there y'all excuse me because it's a little perspiry in here <laughs> we're going to start right in Psalms 23 Psalms 23 we already know we already know the greatest provision comes from on high. It's not anything that we can try to work together ourselves. Okay, 
we know the song that um that we love while we're trying to figure it out god already worked it out already worked it out and that's that's real that's real somebody has sense enough to write that down that is real okay psalms 23 i'm actually just going to share verses 1 and 6 this is the amplified version listen the lord is my sh amplified okay the lord is my shepherd listen to feed to god and shield me let me say that one more time the lord is my shepherd to feed to god and to shield me oh my goodness it's good already it's good already i shall not want it. verse six says surely goodness and mercy and unfailing love shall follow me when all the days of my life and i shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and what does forever mean amplify tells us throughout all my days i got ahead of myself let me come back let me come back and i shall dwell forever throughout all my days in the house and in the presence of the lord my god hey afi my sis afi is in the building somebody else popped in too y'all know these stuff right here be acting crazy and then i'm not even talking about this crazy phone anyway because <laughs> i was getting ready to complain i will not complain i will not complain let me read verse six again because that's good to me surely goodness and mercy and unfailing love shall follow me all the days of my life and i shall dwell forever throughout all my days in the house and in the presence of the lord that's good that's good promises of god are for who dwellers when we dwell with god come on somebody he will dwell with us and so now I borrow this from my big dad okay big dad in the spirit td jace because there are great benefits you get from covering okay so we know there are different levels of covering i don't want to get too far ahead of myself we're going to get to that in a minute okay but of course, God is our covering. If we choose to believe him, if we choose to literally make him Lord of our lives, not just going through, you know, pomp and circumstance, doing the little cute stuff at church, all of this and all of that. No. Okay. When we truly take on the character of God, he is our covering. We really accept him. Okay. And covering comes with three amazing things things okay so let me run it back one quick second because i'm already getting ahead of myself okay so david's recipe is what prayer praise and worship not necessarily in that order okay that that's just said it prayer praise and worship we know that there was david was the best praiser that there was okay all of these songs that we are going over this poetry this crying out even when he was lamenting god where are you i feel like i'm being surrounded what's going on god i know i don't deserve anything but god i'm crying out to you hear me Okay, that's what he's saying. But when you have prayer, praise, and worship, guess what? That gives you power, protection, and provision. Let me give it to you one more time because it's too good. When you have prayer, praise, and worship, that recipe, then you get power, protection, and provision from on high. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. God and God is so good. Let me tell you, God put a system. So this is the thing. This is why you have to step all the way over into this. You can't do the straddling of the fence. And I'm gonna do a little bit of me and a little bit of Lord. I'm gonna do a little bit of the world and a little bit of uh, the spirit. You can't do that. You need to be one way. Hello, somebody. Come on, Sister Cindy. Come on now. You got to be one way. Okay. And so God, in His infinite wisdom, my God. Every time I find out, God, you really are smart. <laughs> really do know everything like god you really know about all of this you knew it before i arrived at this situation and you prepared me ahead of time so god has layer oh my god layers in our covering so guess what god is a covering to us hello somebody um us uh women we have the you know marital single your husband is your covering uh your married your husband your covering excuse me single your father is your covering parents to children are covering okay so we have our our god as our covering we have our pastor and spiritual leaders as our covering and then we have our husband and or family as our covering my god but guess what 
A covering only works if you operate under it. Oh my goodness. I'm saying something to myself first. Come on, Artisha. And I'm saying something to somebody here because I feel it. A covering only works if you stay under. If you walk outside in a storm and you got an umbrella tied up in your hand, you still going to get wet. You still going to look crazy. You have your protection right here, but you haven't opened it up. You haven't used it for what it was made for. Somebody feel me, please. Somebody. Okay. God has provided these things for us and it's coming in a package. Power, protection, and provision. Why would you want a piece of it when you can have the whole deal? God, I want power to cast down these crazy mindsets that try to rise up in me. God, in my home, in my relationship, Lord God, even socially, even on my job with those crazy people, okay? Hello, somebody, blink if you shoot, okay? God, I want power to overcome these things. God, protect me, Lord God, from the haters, the doubters, the naysayers. Listen, and it became real cute. A lot of people like to say, oh, I got haters. Some people don't have haters, <laughs> okay? But I guarantee you, if you're walking with God like you're supposed to, if you're flowing in your purpose, if you're even curious and trying to get to purpose, trying to walk out this promise, trying to do the things that God said, you got haters, I promise you, you do. You got haters that your number one enemy is the devil. And let me just say this. I'm going to come in a little closer so that we know. People are not the devil. I'm going to say that one more time. Now, yes, I do. I don't want to get too spooky, but demon possession is a real thing. Angels are a real thing. Heaven and hell are a real thing. If you want to talk more about that, we could talk offline. My email box and inbox is open to you right now. Having said that, people are not the devil. But people, if they are not careful, will and can be tools of the devil. The devil don't care who you. Just like God don't care who you use too. That's why I'm not going to even get to this thing about some people believe God never called a woman child, please. Away with that. Okay. <laughs> Hello. The devil don't care who he used. So that's why we have to pray. Listen. Oh, I'm about to get in somebody's business right here. Because just as you have a covering, my God, you are a covering. Come on, moms, God, moms, aunties. Hello, somebody. You are a covering. So you have to be in place and do the thing. Because guess what? God will use your kids. Honey, nobody can pull you out of character like your husband. I'm talking to my sisters right now. We know brothers going to see this later. Like your husband or your kid. What? I'm talking about make you say some stuff, think some stuff, make you have to pray real hard. You understand? <laughs> like real, real, like Jesus, like for real. <laughs> Hello. Blink if it's you. Okay. Look, let me blink. Okay, straight up. All right, so power, protection, provision. I talk to so many of you offline and the prayer requests and things come through and I see the different posts and things on social media. And I do know, let me, let me spin it because I'm gonna say one thing, but let me say the other thing first. I do know that God is doing a supernatural thing. Come on, just with the kids. I already know it is. Hey, feet, come on. I already know. God is doing a supernatural thing provisionally for his people. Look, just like, and I told y'all, I'm going to say it again, all the way back in 2008. Not 2008. It was 2000, between 2008 and 2009. <laughs> I'm getting so confident. I'm like, wait a minute, what? 2008, 2009. When the housing stuff went crazy, 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 it was a major recession. One of the greatest things I ever learned from Creflo Dollar, I don't listen to him very much anymore, but he blessed me for a season. He said, the world is going through a recession. I'm not participating. And I felt the same thing with this pandemic. The world is going through a pandemic as far as economic downturn, as far as panic, as far as loss of peace, a loss of income. I'm, I'm not participating. I didn't participate in none of that. Now, did I get my mask? Yes. Did I get my vaccine? Yes. You want to talk about that offline? Fine. We can do that, okay? But I'm not participating in this stuff that the world system is doing. I don't subscribe to that system. I don't have to because what? My power. Come on. My I'm covered, okay? My power, my protection, and my provision came in my package. And I'm going to keep my stuff in my package. Just like this right here. It's a whole package. This thing you said had 30 cough drops in it. This is my package right here. I want all of these 30 cough drops in here. I want this whole deal right here. This is what I signed up for. This is what I want. Yes, I want all of my kingdom benefits. Hello, somebody. David's recipe. How do you get it? 
You get it through your praise. You get it through your worship. You get it through your prayers and earnestly seeking God from the heart. Okay, let me go on. Let me go on. Now we flip on over. If you're following along, I'm going back to New Living, my favorite. Okay, so now we're just going, we're just going one chapter ahead. We're going right to Psalms 24, right? Psalms 24 says this. I'm just going to share verses 3 and 4 with us. Let me do this here. If you feel that, right? Jess, I know it's Chanel. I know, Cindy. Yes. Psalms 24 verses 3 and 4 says this. Who may climb the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Only those whose hands and hearts are pure, who do not worship idols and never tell lies. So this is what I want to, this is what I want to focus on. And I pray, I don't believe in my heart that I'm taking it too narrow. I just want to be very, very clear, especially on that last verse. Let me read verse four one time. No, let me read the whole thing. Three and four. Who may climb the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Only those whose hands and hearts are pure, who do not worship idols and never tell lies. Listen, I can talk about me. If it sounds familiar, draw me some likes, some hearts, blink. Let me see all of the things, okay? God will bless you on your secular job, in your social organizations, in your civic organizations. But I need you to know that everywhere you are, he is. If you are a believer of God, if you have done your ABC, accept, believe, believe, and confess, Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. He has made a home in your heart. That means the Holy Spirit dwells within you. Okay, some of us don't always act like it. Hello, somebody. But that comes with the package as well. That's a whole nother lesson. We'll get into that, okay? The Holy Spirit is with you. So if you are going and acting a fool in the Walmart, okay, if you said the lady said something unseemly to you and so you had to say something back to her, then you are doing that right in the presence of what? The Holy Spirit, the true and living God. He saw it. Your uh, your kids might not have been with you. They didn't see it. Your co-workers might not have been with you. They didn't see it. They didn't get you on the um the shade room stuff and all, and all of that. They didn't repost you. But God saw you. Heaven was watching. When you did that. And he says that we have to have hands and hearts that are pure. So that means God doesn't want us working evil, whether that's talking against somebody, telling somebody off, feeling like we are getting even that petty stuff that y'all know I absolutely hate, that get back stuff. No. And just like God saw you, he saw when you were wronged. Oh, Okay, he know that the boss man was supposed to do something different. He know your man was supposed to do something different for you, okay? Because guess what? He speaks to them as well, touches their heart as well. But guess what? They have free will as well. So they might be like, mm -mm. they might figure a way, find a way to not do, just like some of us, not do what God says. But we have to keep our hands and our hearts pure. And then let me touch on this idle thing one minute. I can talk about me. I always tell y'all, before the Lord did a major, ma I won't say A, the last major trans, um, transformation in my life, because there are many, right? When God did that last major transformation in my life that uh, brought me off my job, it was very much needed, okay? Because on my last job, listen to this, I'm not trying to be funny. I was working 50 to 60 hours per week every week it was mandatory overtime on top of that okay when i first started out it was like a 45 50 minute commute one way they fixed the local highway here i got just know um when they fixed um 56 just it was back in what 50, um 2016 and 17 when they was fixing it and when I tell y'all I was making plenty of money, but I was no good to anybody. I was not being productive in my family. I was not being productive in my church. I was not being productive in my community. All I was doing is punching the clock, making money, punching the clock, cash and checks, punching the clock, cash and checks. Now, of course, I found my way to Macy's. Hello, somebody. Of course, I was still in church. I just wasn't doing nothing. The word wasn't sinking in. You know, I was picking little pieces of it. No good. That's idol worship. 
that somebody was like, well, no, T, you was just going to work. You know, so and so, God blessed you with the job. And I believe in my heart, he did bless me in the job. And I believe, <laughs> come on, somebody, let me say this one minute here. We still talking about David's recipe. Let me say this one minute here. A blessing, not just a trial, but a blessing will show you where you are and where you are not. Okay. And I never, again, I, again, a pew baby, grew up in church, been in church all my life. And when those people was doing all this underhanded stuff on my job, when it was a who's sleeping with who to get ahead kind of thing, I was like, oh, heck no. And I became a whole different beast. Like the whole hood came out of me. Pastor Hattie came out. And it wasn't no pastor. Let me say Hattie. And they in the back of the day, they used to call her H. Raisin Hattie. And that's what she was. My mama came out of me and it was a whole thing and i i literally i had like a split personality i was a whole different person in that job and i always tell my girls no i was just as quick to pray for you as i was to cuss you out talk about your mama and everything what you got on what you drove up in and everything <laughs> for real just as quick just as quick okay that was not god's best that was and it wasn't like one or two that was just that's that was just how it was i was like i don't like this this is what I need to do to survive. And that's that's what I put on. That's the character that I put on in that place. God was not pleased. Jess is laughing because she already know what it is. But that was really terrible. That was really terrible. But I did. And I also believe because there are people that pulled them same hours. And they did it differently. My sister, my blood sister, my only blood sister in this world. She did it. Now people got on her nerves. You know, but she definitely did it with much more grace than myself. And I always look at her as an example and hold her up because she's amazing. And um, while I was praying and cussing, she was praying and doing right. <laughs> praying and doing right. You understand what I'm saying? But so excited about that money. Chasing a daggone check that I was not doing what god i wasn't following david's recipe my prayer praise and worship was greatly diminished and so my life was greatly diminished i was getting material things i could finally get what i wanted i was that i was still sowing seeds in the church now don't get it wrong now i'm not crazy crazy i paying tithes sowing seeds all of the above but just acting a fool my character was off i couldn't say that my hands nor my heart was pure Okay, and talking about lies, we don't even have to get into that. That was just a whole nother, like, really? Okay, so I said all that just to give you an example of things that you might not think. Well, like, dang, is that considered idol worship? Yes. If all you can make time for is making money and then you are, <laughs> I'm on, I wanted to say a word. You are half-heartedly said that way, half-heartedly or haphazard, just any old kind of way with God and the things of God. No, trust me, he's not pleased with that. Okay, so let me come back off of this. Ooh, I do want to say that. Let me see. Hold on one second. I'm going to try to come back to these little commentary because this actually is very good. Okay, so that's what I just wanted to share. And y'all know I can always talk about me. I don't have to bring up anybody, uh, anybody else. I can tell y'all what God did for me and what he showed me about the old me and then the transformed me that literally let him be lord of my life as he has always wanted to okay so now we're going to go for one more we're still new living translation psalms 25 now this is the meat of our text god is so good timing is good everything is going good everything is going good let me say this one thing because this is in my commentary and i don't want to forget to come back to it. we're going to be in psalm 25 now new living okay I'm going to read it straight off the notes because this is good stuff right here. There's something else that I borrowed. I ain't going to tell you where I got it from. <laughs> but this is so real. People, oh my God. I just felt it again. It just hit me again. And I had this in my notes for weeks and the Lord didn't let me get to it. But this is the day for it. People want to be in the atmosphere of Jesus stuff, okay? The fishes and the five loaves, all the things, the cars, the houses, the land, all of this and all of that. People want to be in the atmosphere of Jesus stuff, but don't want to apply themselves to knowing Jesus personally. Let me say it one more time. My God, people want to be in the atmosphere of Jesus stuff, but don't want to apply themselves to knowing Jesus personally. Okay. Not wanting to yield their life and their will to Jesus. 
something has got to give. And my girl said, everybody wants to let go. Somebody's got to hold on. Somebody's got to hold on. Somebody has got to fight the good fight of faith. Not being timid, not being wishy-washy, not being pulled into old character, acting like an old mess. But doing what God said, do it like the Bible said, what grandma said, okay? Afy, what you say? Afy, first of all, don't be trying to say what I said before I said it. Because <laughs> you dropped that comment before I got to saying my stuff good. Afy said, just like we want all God's blessings for our life, God wants our whole heart and all our praise. Come on through. Come on through. I mean, you said it better than I could. You said it better than I could. Oh, you know what, y'all? That just reminds me once. Hold on one second. I am going to not like myself. Hold on. I want to try to... Let me invite two people that didn't come up on the list that I don't know if they knew we was daytime today. Hold on. Oh, no. She did know, but she at work. Okay, got it. Y'all know I don't like to press stuff. Oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> I scared myself. Y'all know I don't be pressing no buttons. Yes. We have got to yield our life and our will to God. God, not my will, but your will be done. Okay. Guess what? As women, the dirty word, the S word that we don't like is submit. We have to submit ourselves to God. We have to submit ourselves to God. This whole word, the word is right. And the whole word is right. Not just a couple of pieces of it. The whole entire word is right. We got to eat the whole world. Okay. So I got a couple of things to say. Let me get into Psalms one. Um, Psalms 25. Psalms chapter 25, New Living. Okay. Starting at verse one. Oh my goodness. I love the King James Version because the King James Version, it's a song and I've shared it with us before. Unto thee, O Lord, do I let do I lift up my soul. Let me not be ashamed. Let my let not my enemies triumph over me. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Okay. Verse one says, Lord, I give my life to you. Okay. So remember, soul is your mind, your will, your intellect, and your emotion. That's your whole soul. So Oh my, I was just talking to my sis about this too. If you let the Lord be the Lord over your emotions, my God, do you know how many households, how many marriages, how many mother-daughter, mother-son relationships will be safe if we really, really commit our emotions to God and not let the enemy jerk us around by the neck like he have a chain around our neck? Honey, them emotions is something. Because that attitude can flare up. Like I said, it take you back to the street. Because it'd be a couple of times like, oh, <laughs> what? What? I'm not even going to say the violent thought that I even just had in my head right now. Because I go violent. I, I come from a violent background. Like I guess y'all know I grew up in the hood. Hello. Don't let these cute glasses fool you. And so I go, I go back to the hood when certain things trigger and fight. But then it's just like, okay, God, no. Right, and thank God for the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost be like, girl, if you don't sit down somewhere and shut up. And I'll be like, oh, okay, then. I'm, all right, then. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> and I thought, when the Lord talks smart to me, I talk smart, smart back. I'll be like, okay, God, I see you trying to be cute, but all right. And then I go somewhere and have me a cup of coffee. Okay, because what I'm not going to do is get in trouble with the Lord. I know what that feels like. That's not cute. That's not fun. And I'm not doing that. Okay, and guess what? No, what I have made up in my mind is that absolutely nobody... I'm talking about husbands, kids, mama, daddy. I don't care who. My next customer, next client, next investor, Oprah, Bill Gates. I don't care who. Nobody is worth me getting in trouble with the Lord. Nobody is more important than my purpose and my promise and what I know God has called me to do. Absolutely nobody. And I'm not getting in trouble for it. I used to because you know you have this conversation. I know I'm not the only one. Blink if it's you. Drop some hearts if it's you. I know I'm not the only one, especially over the years. You'd be like, man, God don't really care about that. Like, if I cuss this person out, like, <laughs> like, I mean, he don't really like it. But I mean, like, I'm just going to repent and, you know, whatever. I'm just going to get this off my chest real quick. I'll talk to the Lord about it later. Child, no. It is time out for that. God is doing things so fast. The boomerang effect is in a place. Hello, somebody. We are in a supernaturally uh harvest era these seeds are cropping up so fast okay so what you don't want is that negativity that out of character slapping you in the face i want the blessing to slap me in the face i want that aim is not y'all know i don't play 
blessings on top of blessings like wine pouring down the hills hello somebody i want that avalanche of blessings pouring down on me not foolishness not because i couldn't control my tongue not because i had to get something off my chest not because somebody was in petty mode and i had to go with them no girl i'm about to leave you right there look looking stupid by your own self I ain't gonna even talk about Tabitha Brown and Wendy Williams, okay? We already know what it is. Honey, talking about, talking about what? <laughs> somebody said that was the King James version of the clapback, just getting somebody together. Wish them love and grace, honey, and move on. I got entirely too much going on. I'm not about to stoop to your level. No, 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 no. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Okay, verse two says, I trust in you, God. I'm not going to even tell you, but let me tell you that when you act out of character, you are saying one of two things. I don't trust God to move quick enough, so I'm going to move up. And I, I'm not worried about what God said. I'm just going to do my flesh right now, which I think I touched on that already. Those are the only two things you're saying. You, you don't trust God to move quick enough, so you want to move. Or you, uh, you are scared of how it's going to feel if you don't just get this thing off your flesh. That is a trick of the devil. That is a trick of the devil. A Fee, Jess, Cindy, Chanel. That's a trick. And I'm here to tell you right now. Don't fall for the okie doke. Don't do it. Do not do it. Do not let me do it. We didn't hit it already. Do not let me be disgraced, New Living said. Or let my enemies rejoice in my defeat. Cause let me tell you when you act out of character. The person that you went off on, their face is going to be balled up. You're going to be like, mm. But, honey, all their friends, everybody else in the office, everybody else in the social group, if you acted a fool at the church house, wherever it was, the restaurant, wherever it was, Walmart, everybody going to be like, mm-hmm. And they are going to laugh at you. And that is just going to taint your witness because those very same people could be following you on Facebook. Those very same people could be following you to church and you don't even know they show up. And it's just like, oh, that was that lady in the Walmart. And then they going to look at you and say, oh, that was that fool <laughs> in the Walmart. Okay? That's all that I'm saying. They will rejoice in your defeat. Because clearly you have lost that battle. And clearly you're not who you say you are. Like, why are you even here in this pew? Why are you even, what are you even talking about? Because no, right? Okay, verse 3 says, no one who trusts in you. David is talking some stuff now, okay? No one who trusts in you will ever be disgraced. When you trust in him, trust in him to shut up. Trust in him to handle the situation. Vengeance is his. You don't have to stand up. One thing about me, I come from a long line of very boisterous women. We're going to tell you how it is and how it's going to be. You ain't got to worry about trying to figure out how we feel because we're going to tell you exactly how we feel. We're going to tell you exactly how it's going to be. It's our way or the highway. No, that is not trust. That's me trusting in me, trusting in how loud I can be, how violent I can be, how much of a bully I can be, how much I can throw my weight around, throw my status around, threaten, neglect, take this away, all of the above. That is not trusting in God, okay? Let me get back to the stuff. No one who trusts, that's the key word, in you will ever be disgraced. But disgrace comes to those who try to deceive others. I'm not going to even tell you. I'm going to tell you. That when, when you act in your own character, that's a deceit. That deceit, and David, this can go a couple of ways, but I'm swinging it this way right here because I feel the spirit. You're deceiving yourself and you're deceiving others to make it appear as it's your boisterousness, your violence, your throwing your weight around, your status around, what you have around that that is the way that's a deception that's a deception when you exhibit this character that is not a character of christ then you're saying to others that that is okay that that is the way because remember we're always an example we're always an ambassador so that my friends is deception okay and that will get you in trouble god will call you to the carpet on that and that is also how you get embarrassed that's how you lose out on benefits that's how you get embarrassed okay I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Let me get back over here because y'all mad. <laughs> I know. I know y'all not. I know y'all. I know y'all receiving it. I know y'all saying. I'm not gonna do that again. I know y'all are. I feel it. Okay. And I love y'all so much. Show me the right path. Verse four. Oh Lord, point out the road for me to follow. 
guess what? The word of the Lord, the word of the Lord has everything we need. The word of the Lord is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. David says, point out the road for me to follow. That road is not being around this person that always gets you in some mess. Every time you go out with her, y'all wind up getting in the fight. Y'all don't need to go out together, okay? Y'all just, <laughs> every time you go out, she don't want to tip. She always got to complain about the wait staff. She don't like nothing, how nobody cook nothing. Y'all don't need to go out together. Y'all always get into some mess when y'all together. David said that God will point out the road. The lamp is shining to point you out the road. Y'all know like on the airplane, they tell y'all in a, in a, uh, in, if it's going to be a problem, that the lights on the path of the floor of that aisle will light you up and show you where to go. It's no different than the word. The word of God is a lamp. Okay, <laughs> just say stop the madness. Yes, stop it. Stop it. You know she don't know how to act in public. No. Okay, don't do that. Okay, verse five. L oh my goodness, I love it. Lead me by your truth and teach me for you are the God who saves me. All day long, I put my hope in you. You can't, again, you can't put your hope in a paycheck, in your boss, in a job. Guess what? You can't put your hope in the bank. Oh, you can't put your hope in a loan officer. Oh, my God. You can't put your hope in anything that you can do with your own hands. Okay? You have to follow David's recipe. Praise, worship, and prayer. That is it. That is it. Submitting unto God. Did I get to it? I went to a whole other story. But submit. That's the dirty little word I was saying that we as women don't like. Submit. Submit. Humbling ourselves before the Lord. Lord, not my will, but your will be done. And that is when he will lead us and teach us. God will say, no, call so-and-so. God will say, don't go up there on Tuesday. Go up there on Thursday and you'll get a good answer. You'll get a good report. God will say, don't worry about what the doctor say. Come on, Jess. You want to have a good report to come back this time. Okay. God will say, keep your mind on me and I will keep you in perfect peace. That's a promise of the word. That's a promise of the word. Wait a minute. Hold on one second. Okay. I got some more notes here. Let me, let me, let me, let me rock on. Remember verse six. Remember, oh Lord, your compassion and unfailing love, which you have shown me from long ages past. Do not remember the rebellious sins of my youth. See, I just talked about that. And that wasn't necessarily no youth. That's youth to like an 80-year-old. But talking about a 35, 6, 7, 8-year-old acting a fool, that's not youth. That's, that, that's not youth. Okay. But remember not the rebellious sins of my youth. Remember me in the light of your unfailing love, God. Thank you for your grace and your mercy and your love that covers me even when I'm acting a whole fool. Okay. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Remember me in the light of your unfailing love, for you are merciful, O Lord. And I just had a note in here, and I put it in bold. You are a good, good father. That is who he is. We are loved by him. That's who we are. And thanking God for seeing the good in us, because sometimes that good is buried under some mess. It's buried, <laughs> it's buried under hair dye, weave, lashes, foolishness, trauma, Broken hearts, broken relationship, broken finance. Honey, sometimes the goodness is deep down under there. My God. But if we follow David's recipe, that thing will pull us right out of the muck. Okay? God, no matter what's going on, no matter what I did yesterday, no matter what I did this morning. God, the kids got on my nerves so bad this morning, I thought I was going to throw them against the wall. God, that man made me so mad this morning, I thought that I would just flip the whole bed over. <laughs> but God, you still love me. In spite of me, God, thank you for being a good, good father. My God, my God. Let me go on. Verse eight, the Lord, oh my God, the Lord is good and does what is right. He shows the proper path to those who go astray. Because flesh going to be flesh. Flesh going to flesh, okay? Flesh is going to want to eat everything. Flesh going to want to be around everybody, go everywhere do everything, see everything. Flesh going to say, girl, we missing out. You don't see how they partying and doing it. Flesh say this and that and that. 
no <laughs> and no again no the lord is good and does what is right he shows the proper path to those who go astray okay come on back on this path follow the lights just like the airplane okay come back over here right now it's still available just come 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 <laughs> before you wind up getting busted in the head it's a rocky path over there you're gonna slip on that rock and you're gonna get busted in the head then you're gonna come back over here with your neck your knees scraped up your head scraped up your eye half falling out just come back over here now okay thank you god is right afy Thank you, God. Okay, nine. He leads the humble. We already talked about submitting in doing right, teaching them his way. We have to know he has the best answer. He has the ultimate God, and he knows the way. The Bible also says there's a way that seems right to man, and the path, the end of the path thereof is death, is destruction. There's a way that seems right to you and me. But we don't know what's far down that road. Destruction is farther down, okay? We got to submit to God, okay? Come on. Verse 10. Okay, we're doing pretty good. I might have to skip some or read some real fast. <laughs> the Lord leads with unfailing love and faithfulness. All who keep his covenant and obey his demand. That's a promise. That is a promise. That is a promise. Wait a minute, I'm going to skip. Verse 13. That was 10. Then verse 13, they will live in prosperity and their children will inherit the land. Who? Those who fear the Lord. Those who apply this David recipe. Praise. Worship. Prayer. Again, praise. Worship and prayer. Again, prayer. I mean, praise. <laughs> worship and prayer. Praise. Worship and prayer. That's the recipe. And remember what it gets you. It gets you power. It gets you protection. It gets you provision. My sisters, later on, my brothers, that is the best thing. That is the best part of this package. You can have that. Thank you, God, that you did the work, all of the work, Lord God, so that we can have salvation. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, that we know you for real. And we are on our way to heaven, God. Thank you. And God, thank you again for now giving us tools like this. So that we can live our best life now. Because our best life, God, is in you. It's nothing that we can do. It's no amount of schooling. It's no amount of certifications. Listen, I have several degrees and certifications. It's no amount of anything that we can try to amass on this earth that will make us have our best life. Our best life, God, is in you. Because that way we can have faith over fear. That way we can have peace over panic. That way we can have real comfort and peace it's okay for us to be alone with our thoughts we sleep good at night we like what we see in the mirror hello somebody we walk into a room and we feel confident because we know we're never alone okay that's that power protection and provision my god my god i think let me go up here let me see something because i missed something up here let me make a note here and this i'm gonna close on this note here I said this, let me repeat it again. The promises of God are for dwellers, not visitors, okay? Just like there are certain things, if somebody come over to your house, it's certain things that they can have and do. And even if they spend a night, you might have a guest room, guest towels, a guest bathroom, and all of that. But they don't have all of the privileges that your husband has. They don't have all of the privileges that your children have, okay, at your house. There are promises of God that are for dwellers, not just visitors. And let me, I'm going to come straight off the notes because this is important for us to know. We, you, 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 and me, 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 we must have participation in our own liberation. I'm going to say it again. And this is old school black teaching, okay? But it's good for everybody, no matter what color, creed, race, gender, orientation, you must have participation in your own liberation. God did all the heavy lifting. So all you have to do is obey. If you want to stay free, all you have to do is apply this recipe. Praise, worship, prayer. Do the things that God has called you to do. And this is for your liberation. This is for your elevation. Okay? If you don't want to stay in the same place, if you don't want to be stuck, if you want to have a really fulfilling life, 
okay participate get your praise on get your worship on get your prayer on find yourself in the Bible. guess what you don't really know how to pray if you're not reason reading the word you don't really know how to praise and worship if you're not reading the word oh don't think i've left that out that's what we even hear well that's what thursday night live and even though this is a day party hello that's what it's all about that is what it's all about Part of us gets that participation piece because uh, we were kind of taught, those of us who really had work ethic ground in us, you know, we know you're supposed to work for what you want and go out and get it. Don't just expect somebody to give it to you. So we get that. We understand that. But also understand that that is the world system. God has called for us to trust in him. The work that we do is the trust. The work that we do is the submission. The work that we do is the yielding our will. The work that we do, we work to rest. Again, we fight the good, get fight of faith, and then we rest. I think we shared a few weeks ago. I laid down in safety last night. That's what David said. I laid down in safety at night, and I woke up again because of you. Okay? Because of God. That's all that we can do. That's all that we can do. So, y'all, this David's recipe is real. It is real. And this covering thing with the power, protection, and provision is real. Okay, these are kingdom benefits for dwellers, not visitors. Not just tapping over here, tiptoeing over here to God like, hey, God, what's up? Okay. And then next week, no, nah, I'm not really trying to do the God stuff. Y'all know. <laughs> that is not how this works. Honey, that's not how it works. Okay. So, I just, I appreciate y'all so, so much. Listen, if you could not be here with us live, please, 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 uh, go back to the beginning, catch the replay, drop the comment, hashtag replay, so that I can acknowledge you and engage with you. If you would like notes and commentary from tonight's lesson, you can email me at thehealedgirl at gmail.com. If you have a private or lengthy prayer request that you would like me to agree with you in praying God's will for your life, for your situation, that same email is good. That's thehealgirl at gmail.com. Listen, I appreciate y'all. We did the day party today. It was good. The sun is shining bright. It's still hot here. Like I said, down here in the red clay. It's hot, but God is good. He's so awesome. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. He's giving us supernatural insight. David's recipe of praise worship and prayer to 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 properly operate under our covering and our covering gets us that power that provision and that protection god god is so good listen we're about to pray and get on out of here because god is doing amazing things i cannot wait to share with you the other thing that god is doing while y'all are submitting your prayer requests those um who are here live those who may have popped in anybody doesn't matter you can put your prayer request right there um just a couple of reminders i'm gonna make my other announcements when we're done that um um as far as what i have going on god is so good we got a brand new episode of bold journeys podcast you can catch that on tboldmedia.com or wherever you get your podcast as bold journeys with two z's because god is too good hello <laughs> i've never said that before but i really like it and we also have the brand new content that god just blessed my new blog which is called lyrics okay where i will be picking apart and highlighting some lyrics from different music different genres um, over time, it's going to be really, really good. Lyrics of the blog is live. It's also on tboldmedia.com. You can go right to the blog tab to see the latest and greatest. I'm very, very proud of um, what God is doing. So, um, any prayer requests, ladies, 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 ladies? Okay, y'all, like I said, I know it's a little lag here slow typers like myself and everything i'm gonna give y'all just a few more seconds if not i'm just gonna play and pray in general y'all excuse me i'm peeking out the door now because it looks like one of my neighbors still got some fireworks going on i'm gonna have to go tell them that uh the fourth is over and that they can exercise their independence to be quiet <laughs> yes all right let us pray if i y'all know i try to peek my eyes open at the end of the prayer just in case somebody typing up oh, there go one let me see
amen sis i'm excited for a big new purchase for college education expenses and everything we guess what i'm gonna say this i'm gonna pray and it is so in jesus name since you received that to me you know i'm i don't say i'm training myself real good not to say stuff the prayer request piece publicly because it's going everywhere we say and it is so by faith we receive it and believe it in jesus name you will have all that you need because god is the god of what more than enough and god does what he does exceedingly and abundant all, abundantly above all you could ask or think so it's already done sis it is already done. i'm looking for the praise report i'm looking for you to come right back and say t y'all <laughs> god just blew our mind god just blew it out the water our purchase has went wonderfully we got college finances in place and it's already done okay let us pray heavenly father in the name of jesus god thank you god thank you for showing up here god you prove yourself over and over again and lord we do not deserve it god at all we are not worthy, Lord God, but you have made us worthy. You chose us just like you chose King David. You chose us, Lord God, for such a time as this. At this place, at this point, at this time in the earth, in our households, in our communities, God. You chose us. You called us. You placed us. And you planted us, God. Thank you, Lord God, for making us to be rooted, Lord God, as a tree planted by rivers of water, Lord God, that we are not movable, Lord God. We may bend, but we won't break. We are steadfast in you, God. I just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord God. I'm asking a special blessing for each one of my sisters who peeked in, who hung on, who was a blessing right here in me with engaging us, Lord God, in this day party, in this Thursday night live right on today, Lord God. Thank you, God, for meeting all of their needs, God. Thank you for filling all of their voids and bridging all of their gaps, Lord God. We had one sister, Lord God, who is looking to purchase a home, Lord God, who is looking to finance her um, child's college career Lord God and we know it's already done we didn't already spoke the word we speak it in faith Lord God she's a believer she's a woman of God she's a praying woman Lord God she loves you Lord God she has a beautiful family Lord God so we say that it's already done Lord God your promises to her are yes and amen Lord God she has David's recipe Lord God she stood right here it was good in her hearing it burned in her heart Lord God so she's going to apply it and that power that provision and protection is going to be with her Lord God through her purpose just oh god through her investment in education is going to be there already god and you've activated so i thank you thank you for making my sisters and later on my brothers as well healthy wealthy and wise Lord god thank you god that they are building a legacy god that glorifies you that they will leave seed to an inheritance excuse me Lord god that they will leave they plant seed and leave an inheritance Lord god to their children's children Lord god that your name will be made great generation after generation from what these ladies and what these men will do Lord god in the earth through your power by the power of the holy spirit because they're going to choose to be obedient they're going to choose to submit their will to yours they're going to choose to apply this word this revelation knowledge that you've given us in this space in this time right on tonight god so just thank you thank you lord god that we will continue to pray we will continue to praise we will continue to worship and we will do what you've called us to do god god because we know we can depend on you like the song says god through the storm through the rain through sickness and pain god we can depend on you when we place our trust in you when we give our soul to you lord god our mind our will our intellect and our emotions god the enemy can't have them when we put them in you god you will keep them for safekeeping no one can pluck us out of your hand God, and you shared with us a few weeks ago that you have us covered in every area of our life. So, God, it's nothing that you can't do. Well, we know we know you're a healer. We know you're a provider. We know you're a miracle worker. We know you're a way maker. We know you are light in the darkness. God, it's nothing that you can't do. So, God, we put our trust in you fully. We're not going to act out of character. We're not going to act out of fear. We're not going to act out of doubt. We're not going to stay up all night trying to figure anything out. We're not going to make a plan without you. We're not going to do these things. We're going to commit our soul unto you, Lord God. We're going to lift our everything up to you and put it in your hand, God, because we know you are bigger. You are Lord of all. God, you are bigger than cancer, corona. Lord God, you are bigger than hypertension, 
health issues, breathing issues, heart issues, you're bigger than congestive heart failure, strokes, AIDS, diabetes, Lord God, whatever it may be, you are bigger than mental health issues, Lord God. You are bigger than physical ailments, spiritual battles, Lord God. You're bigger than all those things, Lord God. So we just say we submit, we lay it at your feet. We lay it at the altar and we leave it there, God. And we know by faith it is already done, God. And so we are just thanking you and waiting on the manifestation, God. Let us be obedient. Let us stay on this path, Lord God, that you have lit up for us, Lord God. We're not going to go astray. We want to stay on this path, Lord. And sooner or later, we're going to step down this path and you're going to drop it on us. And it's just going to blow us away. And we want to share and we want to tell the world that you did it. We won't take any credit, God. And we thank you. Lord, thank you for sweet rest. Thank you for supernatural blessings on all of my sisters, God, and my brothers. Thank you for doing great things in their faith, in their family, and in their finances. That they will know it is you, God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for being with the lonely, the grieving, the incarcerated, Lord God, the hospitalized, all of that. Civil workers, Lord God, anybody who has to work with the public, thank you for doing it, being in their lives and blessing God in Jesus holy and precious name we love you we honor you we adore you God in Jesus name amen 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 Woo! awesome God awesome 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 God <laughs> oh, I got excited God is so good I love and appreciate y'all so 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 very much Thank y'all for hanging out with me for the day party. I love when y'all roll with me and I roll with y'all. When y'all flex with me and I flex with y'all. God, I say a flex. Let me just make sure that everybody heard that correctly. Because sometimes my tongue gets with a flex. I just want to make sure that everybody heard that very clearly. That's what I said. I appreciate it. So listen, now what we're not going to do, we didn't change anything for tomorrow. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow is still fun Friday. Yes, right here in Chosen Chick Discussion Group. It's fun Friday, y'all know we got the game. We got the jokes going all day. We start in the morning. We carry it all the way to the afternoon. You got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You can let us know what you would choose. You can let us know what kind of chick you are, what you like, how you roll, what you got going on through these games. It's fun, fun, fun all day long. And also, right around lunchtime, check in with us because we have our official chick chat. Always fun. Always a, <laughs> a very interesting scenario between a maybe it's between a family maybe it's between friends maybe it's with a relationship or children it's always fun so i want to know what you would do if you found yourself in that situation what would you choose what would you how would you react you know i want to know so that's our official chick chat lunchtime tomorrow stick around hang around the group make sure that you go to the top of the page smash that notification bell so you get all the notifications you get the latest and the greatest yes I appreciate y'all so much. I love y'all. Always praying for y'all. Again, y'all know y'all can reach me offline, uh, off of this this platform. I mean, at thehillgirl at gmail.com. And again, I definitely pray that you would check out the blog. That's the lyrics blog on tboldmedia.com, as well as the Bold Journeys podcast also on tboldmedia.com. You all have a wonderful rest of your day and a blessed, blessed night. And I'll see you soon. Good night.